everyone and welcome back to an episode of Victoria 2 Heart of Darkness The Indian Let's Play The Indian Let's Play I will try to keep racist remarks to the minimum in this Let's Play Because that would be very bad if I kept doing stereotypes Like black people like ch fried chicken That's a really bad stereotype by the way because I actually don't like fried chicken It stinks <laughs> So anyways um, We're back in this Let's Play I'm doing pretty good? Question mark? High parentheses, hashtag swag. Man, somebody's really gotta teach me about the real message behind hashtag swag. But, hashtag swag everyone, hashtag swag. So I'm just like sitting here, just doing nothing, and just kind of chilling out. And yeah, we're just gonna probably skip ahead to when I actually have something to do, because as you guys know from last episode, I made a mistake of doing the wrong conquest technology. And, yeah. We did get a better leadership modified, but I wanted to do this. This was the one I wanted to do, but didn't wasn't quite able to do because I didn't realize it quick enough. And so, yeah, we're just, we're just gonna have to wait here for a second. So, yeah, I'll see you guys when I figure that one out. So, see you guys in a bit when I have something to do. So, see you guys in a bit. Okay, guys, I'm bringing you guys back inside into January 1st, 1854, where we are in the middle of kind of a war with Portugal right now. Everybody you guys are wondering, well, James, why don't you show me the beginning of it? Well, it was awfully boring. Like, it was awfully boring. I did not want to get you guys bored, so, yeah. And I want to bring you guys back when we actually have something really exciting happen, which is I'm about to do a, causes, a conquest causes that I against the mighty, uh... Afghanistanians because I want to make sure that by the time we get imported goods we'll have everything ready we'll have everything ready to gain the next big chunk of Afghanistan take revenge for what they did to us and just basically round out our borders so that when oh what are you talking about they they are trying to attack us what are you talking about uh, that's always the voice I imagine for when we do some conquest but anyways let's see this war right now I have going on with Portugal is actually seeming very indecisive. And I think I actually might plead the fifth and just say, you know what, you guys win. Because it, it honestly, it, it's going nowhere. Like, I, I don't see this war going to be going either way for either one of my armies. But I'm going to move my other armies to go over here to the border between my nations. And I'm hoping that, I'm hoping that, oh, I should probably mention I got an alliance with Persia and Siam to make sure that... In the future, when I go to war with either Russia or England, I'll be able to fight both. And British have conquered this little part of Edge. They own the entire little, like, island. I don't know what the island's actually called, but they own this entire island. Um, yeah. And we're just going to go to war for this region right over here. And I'm mainly relying on the fact that the Persians have betrayed me. They completely double-crossed me. Infamy. Wow. You guys stink. So if I was to fight this, I'd have to wait until the infamy was down. Oh, dang. This is going to take a while. Uh, okay. Can I get out of this war then, please? Please. I I'll accept defeat. I I'll, I'll accept defeat. I just... I want to get out of this war because this is going to... Rejected our generous offer of white peace. Well, there's nothing gonna happen. You guys aren't gonna do anything. I'm not gonna do anything. And actually, this is just gonna take a long, long time. Eventually, though, eventually, my taking war score against you will overpower your fact that you're, you are blockading my ports. Eventually. It'll take a very long time, but eventually it will happen. So I guess basically I'm gonna do is wait. As I basically, I basically what I'm gonna do is, I guess I'm gonna do like a reverse strategy or stratagem of how I did my National Guard. You guys are being, as you guys always are, doing nothing. Good job. Okay, now you guys get imported weapons. Now I should have a good chance to start building up some actual soldiers. Wow, there's a lot in the horse. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then two cavalry on the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two cavalry on the side. Alright, that way I have a good enough amount of army. And when I'm ready, when it has the causes bell I completely ready, I'll declare war. Or maybe I might wait for the rest of these men to, to build up and then I'll declare war. That way it gives me the utmost and maximum amount of men making. So I make sure I can crush 
I can just go in and just steamroll Afghanistan. Hopefully Afghanistan does not have any, oh, I should have looked at this. Hopefully Afghanistan doesn't have anyone that's really trying to sphere them. No, they do not. No one is friendly with them. And I'll, I'll be able to conquer this all before they do get a friendly nation. So. Oh my goodness. What? How does that work? Like, just suddenly the Great British are involved. How does that work? Like, I don't get this. Status quo? Really? Really? Wait, 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 You already have Spain involved. You can't just do a status quo for no willy-nilly reason. What? That That's just wonky. Ah, okay, well, at least it gives me something to do. I was hoping to... Stupidly finish up my invasion over here. Seems like I'm gonna have to go deal with the British. Ah, <sighs> that that just seems slightly bit like. Ah, oh, dang it. Okay, when does that Casas Belli run out? Because I definitely do want to do that Casas Belli. 1855. Okay, so I'm gonna have to win this war by 1855. Great. <laughs> just great. Thank you guys for making my life so much more difficult. Okay, you guys go right there, defeat that army, so we can start conquesting all of this. <sighs> like, how does that work? Like, seriously, you can't just do that. I mean, they weren't even in the same sphere, so I don't even know. Like, I, uh, tell me in the comments, guys, what did I, what did I miss here? Like, where did I miss this whole like army selection thing? Cause it made sense to me like a couple minutes ago, but it seems like there is some special rule that the computer can use. I, I feel, I honestly feel like the computer just cheats a lot so that it makes sure that it doesn't lose. Because that's just, I mean, honestly, that's just like grade A stupidity, I think. And I'm also going to gain another region over here too because the British are right over here and I might as well gain another region. Okay, go hunt these guys down. Make sure they don't escape, don't escape, don't escape, don't escape, don't escape, yes! They didn't escape. Now, did I want them to escape? Oh my goodness, this guy was terrible. Why did I send him in? Why did I send this guy in? He was terrible. I, I knew it from the beginning. I should not have sent him in, but I sent him in. Wait, that means the British are actually going to send actual good fleets to actually fight me. Oh, shoot. That is not good. Um, that is not good. Okay, go send these guys in just to make sure that we clean up this little British entourage so they all die. Okay, hunt them down. Okay, you guys go right over here. And make sure we own all this entire... This entire my land. Because this is my land. And, you know, we're sending in lots of soldiers just to deal with them. Uh, why is there no leader? in that army. Uh, stupid soldiers. Right. Oh, I can go through the land? Yay! Oh, that's so awesome. And these guys are trying to conquer my land over there. Can't really do much about it yet. I'll go deal with that in a second, but right now I need to go deal with this. Go defeat them. Hey, go, go kill. Go, ki go kill these British guys. Well, let's see, is there any British like being sent over here? No. Hmm. Send them down. Yeah, I'll be fighting you in a second, British. Man, I hate these. These blockades are not helping me at all. But there's not much I can really do about it because... Uh, I have no army. Well, I have no ships. I have no ships to deal with blockades. I can fight you on land, but I can't fight you on sea. Nor would I want to fight you on sea. Okay, now that you guys are all dead, uh, go right here. Go kill these guys. <laughs> okay, we should have all of... Yet yeah, we have all this conquered. Let's go over here. Okay. Are you guys about ready to meet defeats? Why would I negotiate a status quo? I'm winning. What do they own? Oh, the island. Oh, no, they own this over here. 
You know, actually, whatever. Forget it. Forget it. I will negotiate with you guys. I admit defeat because, you know, I want to go... I bet a lot of you guys are thinking, why'd you just do that? Well, I actually do want something else. And I actually just weakened the only British position, which means I'll be able to fight them in the future. I want to go gain the rest of um, Af actual Afghanistan before I start dealing with the British and all that. So, I'm going to go send my actual troops to go over here so we can start like building up our army over there. Over here, we got more of our men being built. And we're just looking like a completely, utterly militarist, militaristic rise force waiting to just be deployed at any minute and to kill anything oh I should also mention that I've almost completely like gotten all the places that I can actually like statehood I mean not statehood actually like bureaucratize bure oh man <laughs> it's late at night sorry guys bureaucratize or bureaucratic so whatever you want to call it I've almost got almost all the regions I need to do in it okay let's get these guys okay Let's see how this army is shaping up to be, because I want to have it 6-2. Six, 6-3, two. Six, okay, I'm going to displace 1, move that over here, okay. Once I get more of my army over here on this side, I'm going to go and then declare war on Afghanistan, completely do a cause of to to completely take them over. Siam, you want an alliance with me? And there's an eternal crisis for Cuba! Oh, I hope Cuba wins. Oh, I hope Cuba wins. And Cuba won! Yay, Cuba! Cuba, yay, go Cuba. Go Cuba. Man, you guys did good. That was the best independence war I've ever seen. You guys didn't even have to do anything. You guys just kind of just sat there and you guys just got your independence. That was awesome. Okay, so all you guys have to go over here. Where are the rest of my men? Oh, they aren't moving up. That's why. It's like, why aren't they moving? Oh, moment. That's my national guard. Okay, national guard, you go right there. The national guard. Wait. 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 The national guard actually helped. Okay. Well, I'm gonna delete all you guys because I actually don't need you guys anymore. Um, I'm gonna separate you guys. Actually, I can keep you guys as it is for now. For now, but you guys start moving up here. But man, the national guard actually helped. That's kind of awesome. You guys sit right here. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to really organize my army again. Seems like my army's slowly starting to die too. So I'm gonna increase my militaristic spending just a little bit. Should gain a lot of like tax revenue because I'm about to conquer this big gigantic nation over here, which should also give me some good like call, eh, not colonially, but good clergyman points. And I should be able to gain back into like tenth power in terms of prestige. Won't be that hard. Ugh. Oh wait, yeah, wait, wait. Get that guy out. He does not belong. Okay. Go right there. Any other men I'm gonna have to look for? Ah, uh, nope. Nope, nope, nope. Seems like most of them are in the right position. Let's see, is this army complete? No, we need one more soldier and then that army would be complete. This army's way too big. I can delete some of them. Because I do need to delete some of them. Uh, okay, give me one second, guys. I'm going to rewind the clock back to the beginning of this year so I can do all this again. Because I accidentally forgot about this Causes Belli. And that Causes Belli cost me a lot of infamy. And I totally want to do this. So I'll see you guys. You know, I'm just going to make this a cut to the episode. So thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.